This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by my sweet, sweet, brand new waterproof vessies. Not water resistant, real waterproof. If you're like me, if you're somebody who drives around without windows on your Jeep, things are going to get a little bit soggy. Not with your vessies. Keeping your feet dry and your attitude fly. Made that up for you. You're welcome, Vessie. Make sure to click that link below. Use promo code ROGUE at checkout. Get 25 bucks off. All right, so the most generous interpretation would be you're lost in the woods, you only have a battery and some pliers and you need to start a fire, question mark? Yeah, or maybe it's a holiday and you want to, you know, en entertain the wildlife with- Maybe what you want to do is test some legends you found on YouTube. Yes, like taking a lithium battery, extracting the lithium and dumping it into water. Sure, it goes, sounds safe. It goes foof and bang. Generally accepted as safe. All right, we're not even going to pretend that this is anything other than us just wanting to know if this works, right? Absolutely. Okay. You want a battery that has a lot of lithium in it. Those are advertised as such. Yep. First thing you want to do is peel away the plastic. I mean, personally, I trust any advertisement, always and forever. t Techy Texas. <laughs> One tumbler. How on earth do they assemble these? It's it's pretty tough. So you've got that outer sleeve of plastic. That's the first thing you want to pull off. Yeah. Strangely, they don't actually want you to get into these things. Crazy. <laughs> Is lithium like one of two elements in here or? There's a couple of things in here. As I understand it, I could be wrong, science adjacent. There is lithium and dihydrogen sulfide in here. If I understand batteries correctly, there's a, a, a substance one and a substance two, mm -hmm. and they're in some kind of solution that makes it easy for ions to move around. In general, they're like um, two angry roommates that are separated from each other. But the moment you attach a wire between the two, it's uh, like handing a telephone to the two angry roommates. And then they start going and electricity is made. Oh, that's, that's exactly how it's explained to me in chemistry class. The perfect stranger's solution. <laughs> Lithium has one electron in its outer shell. Right. Making it relatively unstable. It wants to give away that electron, right? The oxygen in the water that we're gonna put this in wants to gain that electron. Right. So when it does, that lithium electron is gonna bond with that oxygen electron. It's gonna break off, produce heat and hydrogen. Okay, so uh, this is an exothermic reaction. Yes. Uh, 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 between two ingredients that, that, that want very much to give each other something. Exactly. Let each other have it. Yes. How do I pop the top on this guy? It's tough, man. So you're gonna have to peel back the steel casing from the top. Should there, we right? be wearing like face masks or uh, something? I don't think so. We don't have to worry about something weird happening when it becomes exposed to the atmosphere or anything? Uh, well, then the lithium just starts to tarnish really quickly, but there's no problem with it. Got it. Uh, what we need to do once we get so the lithium out- So it oxidizes like, uh, like, like, like uh, uh, rust. Like really rapidly. Yeah. Not in a harmful way, uh, but we'll want to put the lithium into the water right away before it tarnishes. In all of the videos I saw, this part was time-lapsed. Yeah, that's probably code for a giant pain in the butt. Got it. Wait, you got it? Yeah. What do you got? Just peel that back right there, right? Like a can opener. Yeah. How do you know which one is the lithium? It's gonna be a different color. We're still gonna have to take this steel sleeve off. So yeah, you can see in there, you got the rolled up lithium, the dihydrogen sulfide, and some other stuff. Oh, something just sparked. Really? Yeah, You're that's right? probably not good. I don't know. Did it again? It, it, it feels hot. It, really? Does this feel hot? It does. Okay. Does mine? Uh. No. I don't know why it's hot. That wasn't in the manual. I mean, I don't know what you did differently to make it sparky and hot. Very hot. Yeah, mine in comparison? Not hot. Right. Yeah. That's alarming. Maybe that one's... Haunted? Haunted? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, there we go. Oh. I think you got it. 
It's like, here's what you do. You just gotta grab that on top. And yeah. I was just gonna open it like a can of tuna. Ooh. Oh. See? Oh. Yes. Magic cans. This is why we are a team. Looking at this battery, it looks like um, there's like a foil spun around here in circles, mm -hmm. right? And then some kind of insulation between the two. This this goes back to, oh, I just saw another flash. I did too. What is that? Let's do it. That's probably not great, right? What? What is that? How on earth do they allow us to do this? Don't do this at home. We didn't say that. We should. We don't do this at home. Uh, sure. Because <laughs> that stopped us. It looks like uh, when we put electricity through steel wool. Oh, yeah. That was fun. So wait a minute. If this is lithium, I mean, I guess just throwing that in water right now would be interesting. You want to try it? I don't. Okay. I, I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't know. How about that? I don't know. Oh, that could make a bang. We don't want a bang. I don't know. It might not. That's just... It's fine. Is it just me or is it feeling warm? I definitely smell something. It's warm. It's bad. It burned my arm. Yeah. I saw I saw heat shimmers and I smelled something awful. Yeah, but it's still hot. It's getting worse, right? I'm going to put it in the water. Okay, I'm going to hide. We got fire extinguishers. Okay. Ready? Um, hide your eyes. We got a sizzle. That's glass. Yep. What's happening? Is it bubbling? It's eh, kind of, not really. I, I, I would expect some amount of electrolysis. That's more, yeah, direct current through water causes uh, you to strip out the hydrogen and oxygen from the water. I'm gonna pluck it out and put it in the bowl and... Wait, why? Because it's not doing anything. Okay. That was definitely hot, though. They didn't warn us about that. Don't use a wooden pot on those burners. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a safety problem. It's they go right up. Nobody tells you that. It's, it's not on the, there's no label or anything. I mean, we're definitely doing the thing they say don't do. Yeah, but I mean, come on. We're st st starting over? Yeah. This part was time lapse. I feel like we're only one proper tool away from cracking this one. I know. <laughs> I'll be back. This one got, this one's very hot again. Feel this one, is it hot? Oh, that's very hot. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I don't think these are meant to be torn open. It's so hot. Yeah, yeah, why is it getting so hot? This is an exothermic reaction. Somebody tell us, why is it getting so hot? What is our source material for any of this? Nate on the King of Random did it. Yeah. And uh, various other, there's a, the video I watched, he was probably like 15. They all knew what they were doing. Ish. All right. Nate didn't know that it was dihydrogen sulfide in there. I did. This has to be a terrible idea. A little bit of pressure. What? Okay. Um, yeah, just go. I saw smoke. Should I have seen smoke? Is it hot? <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's hot. Well, hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do this one, this non-hot one. I'm gonna see if I can get it, get it peeled. Okay. Appropriately peeled. Appropriately peeled. This part was time lapse. Wookiees don't have sweat glands. Did you ever imagine? How bad the cantina smelled. Like a Wookiee on Tatooine? Good God. Uh, okay, so let's try the tuna can technique. That was a good technique. I like that one. So which one is the lithium and which one is the, the, the dihydrogen monoxide? When you open it, the lithium one will be the shinier one, more like tinfoil. The dihydrogen sulfide 
is gonna be the darker uh, one. It's kind of a blackish color and it smells like sulfur. Just feel like this is just gonna get hot. I feel like that's all that happens is they, they get hot and then we, we throw them away. And, and again, with the with the flashing and the, the yellow orange sparks, I don't like it. Yeah, that's no good. It's doing it again. Is it again, getting hot again? Yes. This part was time lapse. Smell that same weird smell makes me very uncomfortable. I don't like it either, man. That is a strange smell, huh? My hands are getting tired. And 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 now it's flashing in parts I'm not even touching. I don't. We should know more. Oh, here we go. There we go. What just happened? <laughs> this is uh okay, so lithium and dihydrogen sulfide. Okay, this one is lithium. It's already tarnishing. I'm gonna drop it in. Go, go, go. Crazy colors. I'm gonna give us an A for effort and an F on safety. <laughs> It suddenly <gasps> occurs to me that, that that's glass. That's glass that we yeah, put a volatile yeah, I, compound I mean... into uh, an accelerant. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh. You, want, you want to put the rest of that in there? Yeah, then we'll sure. just back away. What's it doing? It may have already oxidized enough where it's not working. It tarnishes really quickly. Oh, that was a pain in the ass. Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, you're already pretty tarnished, aren't you? Yeah, you are. All right. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> and that's the story of how we burned down our HQ. <laughs> I love that casual, like, ha 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 ha. Oh, yeah. Put out the fire. <laughs> oh, this is all. Uh, okay, no I would worries. say legend confirmed, I guess. Uh, legend <laughs> tested. Definitely. Lithium plus water equals fire. Yeah. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> but it was awesome. Yeah. Fun for amateur pyrotechnics. Not sure how, how safe it is. Uh, let us know in the comments. <laughs> not sure how safe it is. I've seen Just it done. Just uh, repeat after me. It's not very safe. It's not very safe. There you go. It's not very See, safe. was that so hard? It's not very yeah. safe. You're right. It's cool though. All right, true fact, every single day I start my day off by getting my Weimar on her joy and the two of us go for a walk all through the seven acre back area, the seven acre schwood we call it. Problem is, it's always covered in dew and it's wet and soggy. So I usually have like morning shoes and evening shoes. Even if I'm wearing leather boots, eventually I just have soggy leather. And then I discovered Vessi. They breathe and they feel just like my favorite running shoes. They're comfortable, they're cozy. I don't even mind it when my dog steps her big old muddy paw on them because I know it's gonna wash off like nothing happened at all. Look at this, you can step right into a puddle of water and it all comes right off. You're gonna be comfy, cozy, you're gonna look good all day, and most importantly, you're gonna be keeping us in business when you head over to that link down below. Head on over to Vessi.com, use promo code ROGUE at checkout, get $25 off and free shipping to all these places. I'm imagining a bunch of places are showing up right now. These are legitimately my favorite every single day shoes starting right this moment. Thank you, Vessi. Offer and link in the description below. Poop and bang was uh, the name they wrote down when they came to America. Oh, I thought it was a Norwegian uh, uh, electro sport. Electro spot. <laughs> yeah, sport. Yes. It's called the biathlon. Now. The biathlon. The poop yeah. and bang. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually not bad. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Poof and bang. Sounds more German.